Okay, so they're continuing using the honking fee. Um, you know, basically, I just I was just out, um, you know, putting some razor wire up. And I immediately me 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 right. You know why, don't they? Because they don't want me putting it up. Because they can't, they can't uh, do their shit. Their uh, gas line. You know what I mean? So you know the honking, honk calls. I've got a video to show again. I'm using this tactic. I'm just on a blue line. I'll show you again how they're using this tactic. This is what I think you, this is where your perps need to go. Yeah. You need to go. Someone should give a fuck about you perps. I'll make a video about you on the toilet. Yeah, let me just get my phone plugged in. Uh, and I'll play this clip. There's some other stuff I want to talk about with him as well, but you'll hear actual harassment and this was just you know I wasn't doing anything to aggravate being honked at just harassment you know just just pure harassment shit I can't find my fucking key I might not be able to play it now after all because Fucking cable. Oh, it's there. I've got it. I knew it was here somewhere. Yeah, I, w I went to uh, just, just to give you an idea of what they were doing. I mean, I didn't have a camera on, but I was recording the sound. My camera was full on the phone. Yeah, honk or antics. Honk harlot. I'm gonna call it that from now on. Just like the siren horns, it's just, they're still hawks. You know, and I, I completely explain why they're hawks. Which you'll, you'll see. Just get the phone plugged. Yeah, um, yesterday, you know, and he, and he stops the car like he's going to get out. Basically what happened is I was on a junction and this pickup truck, before he even turned, started horning and then the driver started looking at me. So I responded to it and then, and then he stopped like he was going to get out. So I'm like, go on, get out then. You know what I mean? And then he just drives off. So, you know... The, I, I wasn't breaking any, I was on the right side of the road, I was not staring at my phone, my phone was in my hand, but I wasn't staring at it, it was on the handlebars, so I had complete control, I wasn't I wasn't even moving, yet this fool honking at me, harassing, it's harassment, yeah, there's no, I can't get to the desktop, there we go, you know, there's, there's no, um, reason for it to horn at all. And I, I, I actually, actually, no, when it was afterwards, he looked at me. First, he wasn't even looking um, at me. You know, I thought, is he horning at someone else? But there was no one in front of him. He just horned for no reason at all. Alright? I guess the honking is the new silence. They've been doing it for a while, but they seem to be gravitating more towards that today. Um, okay. Find the... Uh, I've got a lot of recordings. I think it's this one. Yeah, man, I can see why these Windows phones didn't catch on. I used to, I dropped my Galaxy S3 on the floor loads of times. I screwed in a 
trap. First time I dropped this on the floor. Alright, they're messing with my phone. The voice recorder just uh, stopped out of it by itself and something else completely unrelated came on. And uh, heard just that plumber in a plumbing van, so that's just part of the engine room as soon as I'm there, it drives off. Right? Yeah, I think that's nothing, but it's bringing up um, all kinds of crap. Let me just get my headphones in so I can move it a bit better. Ah, I didn't press. But yeah, um, you can't miss it, you know. Oh, a bit of honk harlot. It's towards the end when it happens, but, you know, I'm just cycling and documenting what they're doing. So, just uh, lower the volume because I like my ears. So, yeah. No, just, but yeah, they, they, you know, they started doing that. Using model cars. Yeah, BMWs again. I bought BMW cars the last few days. And another TI has started again. Just seems to be one of the cars they like to give these bastards, along with Aldi's. Sort of government statement, and you get a present, don't you? That's what these faggots do. They suck the government's cock until they get their little present. Shiny reward. It's the hose. Yeah. So, in this case, they're getting these cars. That fucking immigrants I've seen driving these expensive cars. They look fresh off the boat, you know what I mean? And they got At like least them dudes. And some of them might be rich moved here but most of them don't look it and these fools are driving brand new bm dubs aldi's fucking all kinds of shit and it's not it's not fucking um there's too many of them driving that to be a coincidence and they're not drug dealers you know what i mean they're not drug dealers yeah, they got cars that rich people have. Living in slum. Well, not slums, but living in shitty houses with posh, expensive fucking cars. That's what they do, man. Give them these. Give these cocksuckers. Why do flashy do cars? Why do the scene, right? So that they'll suck government's dick even more. And guess what model car it was they gave them? Yeah, it was a great car. I kept seeing a grey BMW with some strange lights on it. It kept pulling out in the flats. And there's two white dudes that are in pimping, pimping this hose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Same, the, same uh, game. The same game. They're pimping. That's why I call them hoes. It's not to insult them. It's true. They are hoes. They are hoes. Being pimped. Being pimped out by the state. Do the bidding. Right? They stand on the corner like bloody. Same thing. I mean, they're not selling sex. I mean, they're just selling. <laughs> I'd like to say. But, uh, they'll do what they want to do. They'll do what I want to do. They'll treat them how they want to be treated. And they can do is stop that unless they want to die. Silly games. It looks like this car. <laughs> you see the reference in the dude I filmed yesterday, a car that looks like his. Yeah, the guy that uh, pulled out, you know, yesterday, the blue car, I don't know what make it is. It's all one of those, different driver. It comes down, that blue car, you know, from my video her neighbour doesn't want to be filmed. The car like that just comes down. Not the same guy, but um, yeah, the same model car. 
So they like to do that, they like to reference things. Like today, I forgot to mention this. You know, two weeks ago, I watched Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2, not Deadpool 1, I watched Deadpool 2. And some bloke... And they did the same thing with... Uh, I watched uh, Avengers... End game and Avengers Infinity War, and I start seeing. I saw a guy at the train station wearing a Avengers, and getting out. No, sorry, an Avengers Infinity War T-shirt. This was about a week or so. No, that's not a few days after I watched that film. Now I watched Deadpool two about um, a week or so ago, and today, so yesterday, I went to the shop and there was a guy with a t-shirt that said Deadpool uh, whiskey or something <laughs> so you know these faggots they like to reference that so that you know they're surveilling you just like the 5% shirt you know what I mean the 5% shirt to try and make reference to the fact that I talk to a lot of uh, African American TIs I hate that term you know what I mean you know African descent TIs you know it's a uh, it's just, they, they do that. They like to reference that. You know, they like to reference things like that to do with your life. So if you watch a certain film, I mean, I'm expecting to be, to have references to uh, Dark City now because I watched Dark City the other day. What, are you going to get guys to wear Dark City t-shirt now? Fucking clowns. Today with a t-shirt that says Deadpool and whiskey or something. Something like that. You know, they, they like to reference subtle things like that. You know what I mean? It's, uh... Because, you know, they're, they're, they're monitoring your internet. They're monitoring what you're doing, so they'll reference even if you are, you know, in the future. Right. So, today, you know, as, um, as I said at the beginning, I'm, you know, hammering nails into the fence for this razor wire. And as soon as I do that, me, 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 me. All right. So they're letting me know they know they don't approve. Good, because I've just done it and it's up. And believe me, there's more where that's coming from. There's more razor wire going up. If I, if I could, I'd put it all along the fence. But there's stuff, alternatives to that going up on the fence. They're just as good. You know, a bit less lethal, but you ain't gonna have an easy time or fun time if you want to climb over. Um, it's stupid the situation I'm in. I'm probably gonna have to hide the razor wire when my family gets back some of it because, you know, they they disapprove of it, but they've let me keep it up on the gate. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, they they. <laughs> It's like, come on, man. You what? You mad because I'm putting razor wire, c keeping my property secure from you faggots? You faggots shouldn't even be in my property in the first fucking place. And that you're getting, you're getting mad because I'm putting measures up to stop you fools getting in. Right? It's too bad. I hope you get stuck on it and garroted, you fucking cunts. As far as I feel, that's how much love I have for you. I hope you get. I hope you try and come through and get garroted. I find you fuckers hanging from the shit. And half the time they get in wrong. But sometimes they get it right and they still want to make it right. At least in the daytime. I mean, they can, they can, at the minute, they could still get over, I guess, with difficulty. But they risk breaking the fence doing that. Which because the fence is not particularly strong so I don't think they'd want to try climbing over it they risk breaking it that's for sure but yeah there's, there's a massive bee in the conservatory I mean about the size of a thumb I'll have to get him out in a bit but looks like it's stuck in a web actually I'll get it out but um yeah um you know it's not going to be easy now for them to get in. And there's the gates secure now. Even picking the lock is going to be difficult because it's a, a opposing opposite sides. So that's not going to be easy for them. 
uh, the gate's locked on the front and they can't pick that unless they climb over and pick it because they can't get access to that either. Um, my neighbour's garden, it was a perp. With difficulty they could maybe get in, but with difficulty, risk of injury and risk of damage in the fence. So, you know, there's going to be stuff there too. I'm going to put stuff up there that will stop people being able to climb over. And I'm going to put um, stuff on the other fence that all, you know, spikes and shit that will stop people being able to climb over. So, you've got, you're got going to have to deal with a fortress now because the front door is there's a steel bar in front of it you know what I mean they can't get through there the whole back garden now is looking like you know a, a prison you know what I mean but it's not a prison to keep me in it's a prison to keep you cunts out because you can get through the front door and I know that even in, in the fridge alright I should change the lock now but yeah, you know, this is the lens I'm having to go to keep my home secure from these people. These people breaking into my house, moving my stuff, taking my stuff, uh, gaslighting me. It used to happen in Sheffield too. Same thing, they'd come in, turn the light on, I'd be out overnight, come back to find the light on, right? The light would be on. They turned it on and left it on to let me know they've been in. So you know, yeah, they got it wrong. One one thing they're trying. And it's funny. I was getting stomach ache, right, for the last three weeks. Now all of a sudden my security is improving. I'm not getting stomach ache. I, you know what? I think they, they were probably putting stuff in my food and my drink, in my and my milk in the fridge, because they they were probably coming in and not, not letting me know and then drugging me and then they gotta take it too far and let me know all right they gotta let me know because i was getting you know i was, I was getting pains in my stomach my heart was racing i felt like i was being drugged i thought it was the tap water and i think they are still drugging the tap water because i had some unfiltered tap water yesterday and i got that weird you know, numb pet feeling in my left arm feeling again when I drank the tap water, which has stopped now that um, I'm filtering every bit of water I have. All right, so you know, they're probably putting that same shit in my in my food, in my water, whatever it is that they they're doing. Um, I seem to remember Ti saying that when you get numb limbs and stuff. Um, you know, it, it's uh, since I've left poisoning, which I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and it affects your genitalia. I know that because I'm I'm going to be frank here, right? I've noticed my dick was feeling weird, man. Like my dick started feeling numb. You know, what I'm saying that like the, the, the two or three weeks ago. You know, my, my dick started feeling numb, like to the touch. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they were putting some shit in my food and in my drinks. Because my dick, like, had a numb feeling. Like, it, when I touched it, you know, you normally touch touch it and you can feel it. Like, it feels normal. It feels, you know, you can, it's like, how do I explain? It's like, I know this pretty, you know, explicit, but, you know, I, I need to tell you guys in case you experience the same thing. But yeah, I like, I like touch my dick and I, I couldn't feel the touch. It was like, you know, when you, yeah, it was like, you know, when you have um, got dead leg and you can kind of feel your leg, but it feels dis distant. It felt like that, but with my dick, right? Like dead leg on my dick. And then that stopped. And I was getting all kinds of symptoms. Like my heart was racing, my you know, my arms were tingling. I was getting tingling sensations in my body. All kinds of shit like that. Headaches, tingling sensations. Then all of a sudden now I've got my security, changed the lock on my fridge. That shit stopped. I wonder why. I'm running memes, you know. Ah, oh, 
just because my phone's come unplugged. Give me a second. I thought it continued playing like Windows. Windows, and then plug it, it keeps playing. Just give me a second here. But yeah, I, I was getting these kind of sensations on my body and my, my uh, you know, dick basically as well these these fucking sensation they're, they're not normal i've never felt that in my in my penis before this kind of feeling like that like it's also i've noticed another thing i'll be frank about is it's been harder to get an erection i've noticed that too not impossible but it seems harder to get an erection it did anyway like i, I got an erection today I know it's, it's, I know I'm being explicit though. I gotta be you know I'm just describing what's happening you know I got an erection today no problem but lately I've noticed around the same time my dick was getting this numb feeling it was harder to get an erection so for real man these people plush it in your food and your drink all that shit so if you've got a fridge and you're a TI get a padlock and a, some kind of chain for it What's happening here? Just a minute. But yeah, I was getting these kind of sensations in my body. No, most noticeable one was my left arm was feeling numb, like a numb feeling in my left arm. So I, I don't know what that was, but I feel a lot healthier now. Say we're running out of power now. Twenty minutes. I might have to get a charger. Ah, oh, abuse. Okay, let's go. It looks like this car. <laughs> you see the reference in the dude I filmed yesterday? A car that looks like his it comes down that blue car. You know, from my video, her neighbour doesn't want to be filmed. The car like that just comes down. Not the same guy, but um, the same model car. So they like to do that. They like to reference things. Like today, I forgot to mention this. You know, two weeks ago, I watched Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2, not Deadpool 1. I watched Deadpool 2. And some yeah, that's Simon in like a t-shirt when I say says that. Deadpool whiskey or something. Something like that. Sometimes you get it right, and you still want to make it right. It's all things like that. It's uh, because you know that they're, they're, they're monitoring your internet, they're monitoring what you're doing, so they'll reference it in the few, you know, in the future. And half the time, they get it wrong. They do sometimes. You get it right, and you still want to make it right. Yeah, they got it wrong. One one theme they're trying to run on me is, you know, I'm not going to say because it's kind of something I, I shouldn't talk about. But they're trying to run a theme on me relating to something. Yeah. But, um, you know, the faggots, man. They ain't got that wrong. They're pathetic because wrong time. They've got nothing better to do. Yeah. They even got Walking that. Walking past staring at the phones. Yeah, yeah there's some it's guy walking past that. staring at his phone. Walking past staring at the phones. Like little bitches. I mean, tracking my phone. Like little faggots. Just staring at the little screens. Yeah, yeah just staring at the screen the all the time. Oh yeah, they're trying to say I'm gay, you're gay. Yeah, yes, I know. If, you, if you're straight, why are you obsessed with me, you fags? Because half of you stalking me are fucking mad. I mean, half of you, you faggers are fucking mad. I mean. Yeah, you're calling me gay, yeah, you're stalking a bloke. You're stalking yeah. a bloke. And you're calling me gay. You're claiming I'm gay, trying to send a subliminal message, I'm gay, you're gay.
so I'll just call him Simon. Again, near the hot <laughs> thing over there, coming up. There you go. I the guess they didn't like what I was saying, so they wanted to do this. Why do you have an obsession with me if you're straight? You're your fucking men, most of you. You must be hard. Same with my friends that turn on me, you know, they this guy was constantly trying to get me to chill with him. Even when I said I didn't want to see him, I was constantly getting messages. It's only just stopped now. You must be hard, man. Because... You don't see me spying on men. I'm following men everywhere. So I think you're the homos. I'm just gonna turn the volume down because the sound twisters are warnings. The horns are command. Only your genitalia I've touched is a warnings. I'm gay, you know? According to these fuckheads, I'm gay. I've just got one thing. Wait by the car, but the best thing. These fuckers, they're trying to say I'm gay. Right, yesterday I'm with my family and I film them. They're like, oh no, he looks gay. Uh, I say didn't mention, mention someone else's name. They're like, oh, he looks gay. I think he's gay. Oh, this shit. Your friend is gay. Half of you fools are gay. This is coming from people that get people to wear stockings to try and turn a guy on. That's what they do okay. to me. Men to wear stockings, and then they're trying to call me. Yeah. I'm just gonna get the charge because it's nearly dead. There you go. What? Fucking order, man. Dickhead. Yeah. The, the what? fucking with the computer. What? Faggot. You're horny now. You're fucking horny now. Huh? Yeah. So you know. They're fucking with my computer now because that moment that happened, my, my computer just went haywire. Like, I lost the ability to pause it. I'm just, I'll just gonna get the charge. But yeah, that's what they did. You know, they, they, they just horn in for no reason. I always seem to lose power a lot when I'm doing a video. And this this thing last night said it had about two hours. And I had had it on much this morning. Now it's saying it's got no power, hardly. Yeah, I, I guess they didn't like. I'll play that again so you get an idea of what I was saying. Because I want these clubs to especially hear it. Because uh, I guess they didn't like what I was saying, you know, they're monitoring me through my phone. But then this pedophile looking motherfucker, um, you know, comes down and he's pickled. But yeah, my computer went haywire, like, I couldn't get it out. I'm dead. Right, yes, I just want to play this. You must be home, this fucking man. They got it wrong. One one theme they're trying to run on me. Fucking men is what he's posted. I'm not going to say because it's kind of something that I shouldn't talk about, but they're trying to run a theme on me. Yeah, I, can't, I can't discuss that on here. It's too real to discuss. Yeah. No, the faggots. But yeah. Really, it's a faggot because they've got nothing there to do. Walking past.
ass down at the phones. Right. It's just what they're doing now. Yeah. Their ass down at the phones. Little bitches. You see how quickly it escalates, like how they react to Fucking what I'm up. saying. Sometimes happens when I say something they don't like, they react to it. Just staring at the little screens. Obviously, they don't like being told what they are. They are homosexuals, the gays. They're trying to, oh yeah, they're trying to say I'm gay, you're gay. You're benders. If, you, if you're straight, why are you obsessed with me, you fags? It's half of you stalking me, you're fucking mad. I mean, half of you, you faggers. Fucking man. Not me. Hey, you trying to say I'm gay? <laughs> yeah. You claiming I'm gay? Trying to send a subliminal message? I'm gay. You're gay. Some just pulling Simon. He's fucking everywhere. Coming on. Okay. And why? Why do you have an obsession with me if you're straight? Exactly. You know? you're, you're fucking men, must you? you? You must be homos. You must be homos because you don't, you don't see me spying on men, I'm following men everywhere. So I think you're the homo. It's fucking raining, but it's sunny at the same time. No. It's a weird day today. Seriously. I've touched as a woman. Only genitalia I've touched as a woman. I'm gay, right? According to these fuckheads, I'm gay. I've just got a wrong name. Great by the car, great best. These fuckers, they're trying to say I'm gay. Okay. Right, yesterday I'm with my family and I filmed them. They're like, oh no, he looks gay. Uh, I didn't mention mention someone else's name, they're like, oh he looks gay. I think he's gay. Oh, this shit. Your friends are gay. Half of you fools are gay. This is coming from people that get people to wear stockings to try and turn them guy on. You know, get men to wear stockings and then they're trying to call me gay. <coughs> what? Fucking on it. Dickhead! Yeah, go on. Go on. Faggot, you're horny now. You're fucking horny now. <laughs> no reason at all, just horns, right? And then and he stops the car like he's gonna get out. So I'm like, go on, man. You know what I mean? Fucking fat. Tricks. Some, some pedophile looking more fucking a pickup truck. You know what I mean? Fucking fabulous. And he, he like stops it like he's gonna get out. I'm like, go on, man. You don't get it out. You ain't getting out of the fucking car. I wish you fucking were. You ain't good. Yeah, that, that's just to let you people know. I mean, I, you know, I can't, I, I'm not able to film that shit, but. You heard it clearly. You heard that shit. You know, these fools be on the bullshit. Trying to piss me off and whatever they want to do. I'm gonna piss them off. Wanna honk? Fine, but you're gonna get abused. You know what I mean? You're gonna get abused and you're gonna drive off like a little fag, aren't you? I just got home. Yeah, nothing in front, nothing at all going on. It's just horns and glares in it. Alright? Nothing going on. Which is what they've been doing lately, horning constantly. No. Monitoring my phone, you know, following my phone, so they know where I am, and they want to do that shit. <laughs> Fucking fanny rashes, you know what I mean? But you, you, you want to take it there, man. 
I won't give you abuse and you're gonna drive away like a pussy, aren't you? Because you're the real pussies. You're trying to say I'm a pussy, you're the pussies. You'd have pulled something out if you weren't, you faggot. I could see you reaching that time. You'd pull shit out, do you, bitch? Because if you did, I'd kill you. But yeah, man, these faggots playing games, Honky. honking, honk holes. You know what I mean? Honk holes, honk harlots, whatever you want to call them. You know, playing, playing fucking games and shit. Stops the car at the junction like he's going to get out of the fucking car. Like, go on, get out of the fucking car. You know? I'll break you off. If you want to take it there, I'll break you off. It's no problem, man. I'm always ready for some fun. If you want to take that shit there. Fucking arse wipes. Yeah, you like, there's no, no reason to horn at all. Just turning left, I'm on the road, I'm not on the wrong side of the road. You know, I'm on my bike. Um, sorry about the rattling, I can't get me keys. You know, I'm on the right side of the road, left, which is the left side of the UK. You know, waiting to turn, and he fucking horns at me. You know what I mean? Fucking horny at me. There's no reason. So I'm like, you fucking twat. You know what I mean? These fucking dickheads, man. That's what we are. And you're here. And they ain't get out of bad and shit and drive off. You know, he like stops the car to like make me think he's gonna get out. Huh? He don't get out, does he? Do you? You don't fucking get out of that bitch, do you? You don't fucking get out of car. They're just doing it to fool me. Like the bitches they are. I guess they're pissed off because I put a load of razor wire up so they can't do that shit again. Yeah, that has pissed them off. I mean, right. like, I knew it had shit up yesterday. Today, again, like I said, I'm putting it up and the honking. There was ambulance sirens going off. Alright. So the the vexed about that. Fuck them. Too fucking bad. Isn't it? It's, it's tough, tough cookies, isn't it? Tough titties. You fucking nonsense. Fuck you. It's all my dick, you can pricks. I wanna play games and shit. Yeah, you know, this is the typical of the bullshit you get from these cowards. If you ain't a coward, get out of your car. Come towards me now. You're gonna do that, are you? You fucking pedophile look alike twat. Half of them, half of these pricks do look like pedophiles or not. Fucking creepy old man. There's another there's a cunt the other day that looked like um a guy from you know, honking. You know, get that guy from uh Friday the thirteenth Freddy. Look like fucking Freddy. His face look like fucking Freddy. Yeah. We did and all like stretched out, look like Freddy's face, like stretched skin. Evil looking cunt. Yeah, like I went to my family's and as soon as I get there that Freddy look like is going past. Guess what? Who's there when I'm leaving my family's? Yep, yeah, Freddy look like. Creepy fucking weird twats. That's the shit we do. We're gonna get upset and pump the little horns. Try and annoy me. Right? Try and sh get, it, get it off the chest. Alright. And the little sh stupid horns. Honking again because I'm doing this recording. I don't think it picked it up, but it did. Bunch of weeds. Bunch of fucking weirdos. Pedophiles. Fucking faggots. Pedophiles. Fucking weirdos. You want no part of them. Fucking weirdos. Fuck 
you off in Broad Bay or some shit like that. It's like, we'll have to have to. Fucking freaks. Ridiculous. Bunch of, bunch of tards, man. their displeasure with me continuing to expose their bullshit which I will I'm not gonna stop okay I'm not gonna fucking stop keep exposing me tiles sorry about the key noise again you know, I've, try and I've basically three doors to get through the gates at the front the first door and then the second door uh, Stupid game. Um, the, well, you want to get a few. I guess it's because I dissed one of them this morning. Like, there's this old. They've been targeting me a lot with Oriental people for some reason. No, you know, I've got nothing against Oriental people or any race. I pulled in start again. Um, but yeah, they've been, they've been doing that, you know, using Oriental people. He's just staring at me. So I'm like, what are you staring at, you weirdo? keep staring at me so I'm like fucking weirdo and start laughing at him and then I just shout weirdo like that you know what I mean so I, as soon as I did that guess what ambulance sirens they don't like that that's why them letting me know I say oh I don't like that I don't give a fuck what you like and don't like you don't give a fuck about me I don't give a fuck about you perks I don't give a fuck about you. So my dick, that's what you can do. <laughs> Take yeah, they, they try to use the signs as a way to, you know, try and express the displeasure with what you're doing. Fine. If that pisses you off, right? I'm gonna do it more. I'm gonna do it more. I'm gonna do it more often. I'm gonna diss you more fuckers more. How about that shit? Whenever you let me know something's affecting you, you perks. Just like when you know something's affecting us, targets, you're going to do it more, right? I can do it too. I'm going to do it more to you. If I know something's affecting you, I'm going to do it more. I'm going to do it more. Stupid motherfuckers, man. Fucking playing games. It's pathetic shit, man. Pathetic type shit. I don't know where that feels. I've got a razor wire up. You know, it's going to be some anti fire spikes put up. More razor wire possibly in the corner. I put it all around. You're lucky my family have kind of have control of the house because. Put that shit all around. It's not like you're gonna be able to get in in the day, you see. It's not about making a mess anyway. It's fucking help with you. The yeah. fuck is that? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, there's a massive bee somewhere. I can hear it. To try and get him out. But yeah, um, there's cameras coming too, so don't worry. This is just part one. For you bastards, there's cameras coming up. Trip cameras. Trip alarms. Alarm, well, not trip alarm, you know, trip cameras. Um, all types of stuff coming. But yeah, you know, I've, I've, def I've put bits of where it's at its weakest. I will, for an idea, so I'll sort that out. Well yeah, you know, it's, it's always the same. Same kind of stuff, same tactics. 
But I guess they're stropping, you know, they're stropping because they can't do what they were doing before, it's easy now. Not without making it dead obvious they're breaking in. They're gonna have to literally, you know, climb over a fence now to get in that's about over six feet tall. And that's gonna have spikes on it soon. So, they ain't just gonna be able to wander in. It's like, yeah, you may be able to unlock the doors, but you're not gonna be able to unlock the gates. And your only way in is to climb over a huge fence. And then you got to risk hurting yourself uh, and getting caught going over it. But you know, I, I had to put this up because I, you know, I'll probably have to take it down when my family are visiting because they might moan at it, but I can easily do that. You know, I can I can get it. They can't get it off of you, but I can get it off of you from my side. But yeah, um, you know. Got to get. Got to put my bike away. So yeah. Yeah, you know, this is just pure example of the harassment that I just experienced in a small part of the day from these clowns uh, so you know there's no reason for that fucker to horn at all no reason <laughs>